it will always pull the last uh, vowel sign down. Huh? But unless the noun is stubborn and doesn't want to go down, we got a lot of stubborn. People, <laughs> they are stubborn. They will not go down. Right. Uh, got the idea, brother? <laughs> Inshallah. Okay. Kalamu man haza. What is the meaning of man? Who? Whose pen? Pen of who? Uh, is this? Ya Ali. So, how will you translate kalamu man? This is also mudaf mudafili. What is man, brother? It is also noun. No. It's not min. Remember. It's not min. It's man. Man haza. Man zalika. Are you with me? So, kalamu man. Okay. Kalamu man. Kalamu man. Brothers and sisters. Kalamu. And then it is man. Okay. I don't want to go into too much detail. But when you say kalamu, it's not kalamun. Is it kalamun? No. It's kalamu. Whenever you will see a single dhamma, the thought will occur in your mind. Maybe it is mudaf. Are you with me? Maybe it is mudaf. Because only mudaf can have a single dhamma. There is no al, there is no tanween. A single dhamma, then maybe it is mudaf. Huh? And then we need mudaf ilahi. Where is mudaf ilahi? Man. But I don't see here kasra. Because this is a noun uh, which, which has you know, fixed, fixed appearance. Because, brother, there are, you know, in our handout, we have given you some explanation that the nouns perform different functions according to where they are, they are placed in the okay. sentence. Okay. Just like us. Okay. The noun can be Dhamma. Noun. You know, today the time is flying. I am surprised it's already... Uh, uh, you know, 15 minutes left. Okay. Okay, brothers and sisters, here are we. We'll do as much as we can. The rest, you'll try to do it at home. And then, the balance we'll do on Monday, inshallah. Okay. Now, here it is, brother. If you are invited to Walima, what do you wear? If you are invited to Walima party, what will you wear? Some nice sari, some nice tie and suit. Are you with me? If you are going to masjid, you won't wear tie suit. You won't wear sari, you will wear a simple dress. Huh? Okay? Now, if you, are to, if you are invited to wedding, the ladies will put on even more clothes, you know, and uh, jewelry and everything, decorate yourself. You change according to where you are going. Now, if you are at home, you have a different dress. When you go to bed, you have a different dress. So, according to the situation, uh, you change your clothes. Similarly, the nouns in Arabic change their vowel signs at the end. Uh, if they are muftida, then they are marfu. If they are uh, uh, khabar, they are marfu. Okay. If it is a file, it is marfu. Uh, if it comes after harf jar, it is majroor. If it becomes mudaf ilahi, it's majroor. So it changes. But then, do you know in our society there are some poor people? They have only one dress. Wherever you invite them, they will come only in that one dress. They are very poor. They can't afford. Invite them to Walima, they will still come in the same dress. Invite them to Masjid, they will come in the same dress. Huh? Okay? Same dress. So there are some nouns in Arabic language, they have only one appearance. They are too poor to put Tanween anywhere. <laughs> are you with me? Look at Haza. I told you Haza is a pronoun, it's a noun. But if you make it haza marfu, 
it will still come in the same way. Make Haza Mansub, same. Make Haza Majroor, same. No change. But then we will figure out whether it is Majroor or not. Or whether it is Marfu or not. Are you with me? Similarly, Man. Are you with me? Man is such a noun. It is in one appearance only. So if you say Kalamu Man, so Man is here. Mudafili. Who? If I change it in a simple way, Okay. Haza Kalamuman. This pen of whose? Or you can say in English, whose pen is this? What will you say? Whose pen? Which is pen of whose is this? Are you with me? So this is it, brother. Kalamuman, just in your mind, uh, Understand that it is mudaf and mudaf ilayhi. Just this much. Later on, as you become strong, brother, you will understand even more complex situation. Okay? Later on. But right now, today, brother Faru, kalamu man is mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. Pen of whose? Where is mudaf? Kalamu. Where is mudaf ilayhi? Man. man. Inshallah, you will remember this. Huh? Huh? Later on, things will become clearer. Okay? More than that, I don't think there is any explanation necessary. Fine. Okay. Now it is Aina Hakibatul Mudarrisi. What is it, brothers and sisters? Where is the handbag of the teacher? See Hakibatu. What do you see there? Tamarbuta. So it means it's a feminine. So the pronoun has to be according to it, you know. So what is the pronoun now? Here. Here. Okay. Here tahtal maktabi. What is it brothers and sisters? Here tahtal maktabi. What is the meaning of this? Under the desk. It is under the desk. Okay. I want you to, the, the no vowel signs are given. Huh? That's not right here. Uh, maybe in the new book, uh, the all signs are given. But uh, write down Tahtal Maktabi. Huh? Huh? Write down. Okay. Tahta Al Maktabi. Tahtal Maktabi. Tahtal Maktabi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Brother, you said Maktabi. Why? Why did you make Maktabi there? Tahta is not half jar. Why did you make it Majur? I will explain you. I will explain you. Brother, Tahta is under. What is under? A place. So what is that? Adverb of place. Huh? Adverb of place. Are you with me? Tahta. Okay. Now, there are certain adverbs. Are you listening? This is very important. There are certain adverbs. They behave like mudaf. What did I say? We won't call them mudaf. We will call them adverb. But they behave like mudaf. If someone behaves like mudaf, then we will have to have a mudafilehi. Are you with me? Then we will have to have a mudafilehi. So there are certain adverbs when they will come, they will be followed by mudafilehi. Are you with me? That mudafilehi. Fine. So brothers and sisters. What is this? Zarf. What is this? And what is this? Mudafilehi. Huh? Are you with me, brother? This is again a new concept, but a very important concept. Okay? Tahta is Zarf. And then Al Maktabi is Mudafilehi. 
Huh? Remember this, brother. I will be repeating it all the time. You will see on page 23, inshallah. But I will do it, Sister Salma. You will say, here. What will you say? Here. Are you waiting for a last surprise? I, I'm watching, huh? time. I'm watching, we got to finish at 12.30. Okay, here is Mubtada. What is Tahta? It's a Zarf. What is Al Maktabi? Mudafile. Okay. So I will say Tahta Zarf and Maktabi Mudafilehi. Together they are Shibu Jumla. What is it? Shibu Jumla Khabar. What will you call it? Shibu Jumla Khabar. No, Shibu Jumla, okay, brothers and sisters, can be Char Majroor. Or can be zarf and mudafilehi. Are you with me? Are you with me? Huh, brother? Shibu jumla. We have learned before. It is jar majru. Huh? Now we learn that shibu jumla can also be zarf and mudafilehi. Later on in book three, when we go, they will say zarf is the shibu jumla. And if you want to do it now also, make zarf, when you write down tahta zarf, make it shibu jumla khabar. Do it now, I think. We won't wait till book three. I was trying to make things simple, you know. So from now onwards, we'll do like this. We analyze, brother. Here, mubtada. Tahta zarf, shibu jumla khabar. Okay, and then there is one more word that has to be analyzed. And what is that? Al Maktabi, what is that? Mudafilai khalas. Easy, isn't it? Inshallah. We ended our lessons with Halwa Puri. <laughs> okay, are you with me? So, I want you to say it again, everybody. Hiya taht al Maktabi. Hiya taht al Maktabi. Hiya. Mubtada tahta zarf shibu jumla khabar. Tahta zarf shibu jumla khabar. And then maktabi mudafili. Are you with me? Now I tell you one more thing. Yes, Sister Mamuna, one second. Huh? Brother, not all zarfs will have mudafilihi. Not all. So, many will have. For example, did we get a zarf in the beginning? Yes. Huwa ala al-maktabi hunaka. The hunaka did not have mudafilehi. Are you with me? So all of them won't have. But many will have. Huh? If I say, uh, they are all coming. Uh, let, let me not rush, brother. They are all coming slowly, different kinds of zarf. And you know something? You already know them. Because you have read them in the Quran all the time. And you already know them. For example, Amama, Khalfa, behind, Amama, front. The, you know these things. Huh? Fauka, over. These are all Tahta, under. These are all Zarf. Huh? These are all Zarf, Makan. Okay? Inshallah. But they will have. When you say fauka over, then mudafila has to come. If you say in front, then it is to be front of something. If it is behind, it is behind of something. Then those something will be mudaf ilahi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Mudaf ilahi. Okay? So, some zarf will have mudaf ilahi. Some may not have mudaf ilahi. Huh? If I ask you something, or if you ask me, Aina Anta, where are you? Aina Anta. If I answer, Ana Huna, I am here. Are you with me? Ana Huna. If I say, what is Ana? Muftada. Where is the Khabar? What is Huna? Zarf. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Are you with me? If I say Huna, I am here. 
where is the khabar? Huna. But huna is not a noun. It's a zarf. So if it is a zarf, then it is shibu chumala khabar. Are you with me? We will do a lot more. Huh? I, I just thought about this to tell you, but normally I don't say all these things. But inshallah, four more minutes, brothers and sisters, hiya tahtal maktabi. Are you with So tahta zarf shibu jumla khabar maktabi mudafile. Ajib anil asilati la atiyati. The rest of the things you will read yourself and do it. These three things will answer. Okay? We will answer these three things, brother, sisters. Aina kitabu Muhammadin. The answer has to be from the main text. Aina kitabu Muhammadin. What will the answer? Huwa alal maktabi hunaka. Are you with me? Huwa alal maktabi hunaka. Aina kitabu ammarin. There it says uh, daftar, but you can say huwa ala maktabil mudarrisi. Fine, brother. Aina hakibatul mudarrisi. Hiya tahtal maktabi. It is under the table. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, we end here. Please try to do as much as you can huh? at home, especially the next few pages of the lesson, huh? and then we, we will move forward. I hope you have come with lots of sacrifices for four days. I hope you enjoyed the lessons, and I hope you find that it is definitely helping you to understand many things now that you did not know before. And I hope you find it interesting, inshallah. You find that learning Arabic is a joy. Learning, learning Arabic is fun. Learning Arabic is enjoyable. Learning Arabic is fascinating. Inshallah. Allah will make it easy for us. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa kina adhab al-nar. Rabbana لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا تاكت لنا به وافوانا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على الكوم الكافرين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت سميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت تواب رحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خير